have any promotions um, lined up until after the big event we have in two weeks. We did have some uh, strike promotions uh, this past weekend, but um, we got some uh, something special tonight for everybody. So, um, one in individual in particular. So, let's make sure we're good here. All right. So. This person trained nine years, uh, 14 years old, been on the tournament scene for quite a long time, accomplished American-wise, um, as far as that goes, probably some of the best competition stats female-wise that's out there in the, in the United States, okay? Hands down. The stats are there, they're all on my website, like they're there for anybody to dispute. Um, we have um, so many IBGF open titles. Um, you know, the list goes on and on and on. ADCC, like whatever, Abu Dhabi, like just been to so many different places around the world. Um, a brown belt, Brazilian national champion, brown belt, no gi world champion, and brown belt, world champion. And as much as many people would like to do that, not everybody can say they, they, they did that. A lot of people have tried. But they can't say they did that. Regardless of what happens from here on out, those titles are set in stone. They're in his, their history books, and that's it. So, uh, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of heartache, a um, lot, of, lot of good times, a lot of bad times, a lot of, um, you know, Tears that go along with that, some tears of joy, some tears of pain, frustration, um, <clears throat> disappointment, uh, the list goes on, okay? But probably one of my proudest moments right now. All these other ones prior to this are no less, but obviously with this particular one, it's going to be a little bit more special just because She's my daughter. Good times, bad times. In school right now, almost done with college. We're almost done. Just, this is it. Should be done in, well, hold on. A few months. And that road will be, that'll be accomplished as well. Okay? A tall order to fill, you know, to try to do that and then compete at the highest level. At the highest level that there is. Okay? Now, again, like I said, a lot of people have tried. But I've done my best as a father, as a coach, to put her in position and in places around the world. Okay? Italy, Abu Dhabi, Japan, Portugal, Sao Paulo, Rio, like two different places in Japan. Where else? All right. So, fought the best of the best. Beat some of the best, lost to some of the best. Okay? But that's part of the journey. It's part
part of what we do. And now we go and take that next step forward and put a whole new journey in front of us and it starts all over again. So just like the other belts, we can't let Danielle walk off without saying a few words there. So the floor is yours. Speak up, please. Um, well, first of all, I just want to thank, obviously, my dad. Um, I started about eight years ago, and it wasn't really a choice. I kind of started because he made me. And then I think my first year was kind of, um, I wasn't really serious about it. And then I remember competing um, my first tournament, like four months in, and I lost my first match with no geese. And I cried. I was like, no, I don't like this at all. Like, I told you I don't like this. And I won my gee match. And then I, I didn't compete again um, for like a, another year. And then I was a green belt. Um, again, I wasn't really serious about my training at all. I think I trained Monday, Wednesday, and, on, and Saturday because he, he made me. And I was a green belt, and I fought like four divisions or three divisions that day at a Naga tournament. And after that, like I was in love. And um, ever since then, like right after that, we went to like the, the Pan Ams and I competed as a juvenile and went to Worlds. I remember being at the Worlds and, and that's whenever I was like, I want to be like that. Like, I want to be a black belt and compete at the highest level. So, I just want to thank my dad for everything that he's done from, the, from that point until um, today and everything that he'll continue to do. Um, and I want to uh, honor him at this belt and do the best that I can. And obviously, thank you to everyone on the mat and all my training partners in the past who aren't here today that made me the athlete that I am and made me better and uh, made me stronger, made me tougher, because obviously every day is, is tough in here. So, um, yeah. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, obviously, my mom. Um, <laughs> my mom is the first person that I call. I remember at Pan Am this year, I lost. I just needed to talk to her. So, Mom, thank you for everything. Now, for some of you guys that are out there that are new, um, Jiu Jitsu is different than some of the other arts, like, especially here. Especially with me, because I'm old school. I've been in the game almost 20 years. If I put a belt around your waist, that just means you earn it, but I make you earn it. And everybody that's sitting back here in the class, you know that. I push, and I push, and I push. Okay? Because that's just, I don't feel like there's no other way I can coach. I don't believe in, like, soft coaching. I don't believe in, like, let's just take it easy and give, like, special things. Like, I believe, like, if you want to do something in this sport, especially at this level, you know, and compete at the highest level, then I demand certain things from my athletes. The ones that don't compete, not so much. But I still expect hard work and for you to show up to class and to dedicate yourself to the training. But the ones that want to compete at the highest level, you know, I expect way more than some of the other ones. So obviously, with, you know, her still living at home, the arguments there transfer here. Don't quit. So same thing here. So that we butt head we butt heads on that a lot. But I'm super excited for this next level. I appreciate each and every one of you guys on the mat that train with her because it's not just what I teach her. It's all the training partners that she has has a big part in that and through all the other belts as well. Okay. So again, there's a lot of people that aren't here tonight that stop training. Uh, for those that watch the video, you know, there's a lot of people out there that have a big part in this too that just, you know, they just no longer training for whatever reason. So, anyways, it's time to do it. So, one more big round of applause for the <laughs> All right.